Okay, Monty, it's the first time we've really had a chance to sit down and have a chat since your new two-year deal. Uh, you've had a break and back for pre-season now. Just uh, how have you been? What have you been up to? No, it was good to get my future sorted earlier on. I was able to obviously get my head down and then actually enjoy my break with my with my family. Knowing that I was I had a, another two-year contract was was that put my mind at ease a little bit after knowing what my contract situation was before I signed. It was a bit stressful before I signed, don't get me wrong. But after that, uh, I spoke to the manager and I knew what he wanted and feeling wanted is always a good thing. So it was a no-brainer when I spoke to him and, and it was also good to get it done and sorted earlier on. You finished the season on a real high. You moved back to, to a full-pack position, which I think we both know you weren't too familiar with, but. It's safe to say you really justified earning that new contract and the gaffers had nothing but positive things to say about you. Yeah, when I first obviously got asked to play left back, I said I'll play there as long as I'm on the pitch. I don't mind where I play really, I just want to be at there enjoy my football and if I can help the team in any form of way, I wouldn't mind. And played a few games, which I, I would say my first few games were a bit of a struggle for me because I weren't really familiarised with the position of where to be, of, of what to do in that position really. All I knew was about going forward. But then as the games went on, um, fair play to the to the mo most experienced players, even the, the coaching staff that spoke to me a lot and told me when to hold, when to release myself. So it made it a bit easier for me. And knowing now that I'm gonna be playing as a fullback, it's also good to get um, a full pre-season under my belt in that position. I'm able to work at it be able to improve at it and be able to understand it a bit more. We were just talking there about how much you enjoy your football. It's always nice to have a little break, but how excited are you to get the season started again? Oh, it's always exciting to start a new season, especially after what we experienced last season. It weren't really, it weren't, it weren't nice at all to come into every game knowing, I know you want to win every game, but knowing that if you lost, you would be in the bottom two, if you lost you'll be in the bottom three. You want to be able to come into games knowing that if you win you're going to be in the top ten or top six or even pushing for top three spots and I think I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited really. It's a new, not a new role but I will say it is like a new role to me because I'm starting the season as a fullback now. No, a winger playing left back. I would say I'm a full back now and as long as I can come through pre season injury free I think I'll be I'll be very happy because that's one of my main goals to be fair. Because last season I had a it was up and down for me with injuries which was my main my low point for me really. So I just wanna be injury free and start the season well and kick on really. Now it was there was a bit of a worry of relegation last season, but we we stayed up by the skin of our teeth. It's safe to say, but there's something different about this season. I feel maybe a bit more positivity. There's a lot of new signings. We've had a brilliant kit launch, a, br a brilliant new kit as well. Do you, do you feel that positivity amongst the changing room? Yeah, um, obviously from having the season we've had to seeing what the club have done with the kit launch and how that went. It felt like the, the club's trying to go the right way, really. So I want to hope, hopefully, and I would like to be part of that. I'm here for another two years, so I don't hope, well, not hopefully, this season should be better than last season by country miles. That's me saying it for myself, and I, and I believe a few of the lads, or all the lads, believe that too. We don't want to experience what we experienced last season again. We want to kick on and actually give the fans something to smile about. And not just for the fans as well, for us as well, to just be able to be more positive as well, not just coming into games thinking, if we lose, this is going to happen. If we win, we're only going to be in the same spot, but a few points more clear from the people behind us. But if, well, but if the other team wins as well, so... We don't want that, we want to experience success, we want to be able to kick on, we want to push on and just enjoy our football as well as much as success as well, really.
how to get that success, earn that success. You've, you've got to prepare well when pre-season is the perfect time to. You've been back a few days now, how have you found it? Yeah, pre-season is always good because you get to know the new lads and you have to prepare as well as you can for when the first game of the season starts. Obviously, we've got a lot of pre-season games, but most of them are to test your fitness, to get a team together, to then try to find a formula, how to how you're going to play, understand each one of us and be able to just enjoy yourself. In terms of pre-season, it's about hard work. It's about also like working on different things that you want to do during the season. And pretty much I've, I've gone well so far. I've only been back three days, I'd say. And it's been tough, don't get me wrong, but pre no pretty much ever easy. And just got to get on with it, get your head down and work hard, really. And just finally, Ireland next week. How important is that type of, you know, type of experience for the players, bonding and, and getting to know the, some of the new faces? Yeah, it's always good when you go away with, with a team. Anywhere you go, if you're away from home and you're all together, staying together, you're waking up together, you get to know what everyone's like, what you get to know each one of the personalities. And it's also good to team bond as well because you want togetherness in the team. You don't want to have clicks here, clicks there, not knowing who you're playing with. You want to know near about everything about your teammates so you can understand each other a bit more on the pitch. And we're going for an England win tonight, aren't we? Well, that's what you think. <laughs> I'm joking.